cooling off at the pool, you don't want to forget about a certain danger. Yeah, the Florida Poison Information Center says it had 47 cases of chlorine and pool-related product exposures just in June alone. Mm. That's compared to 10 cases in January. So here's what you need to know. You can have a mix and a toxic gas form when you have a, a pool chemical such as a, a chlorine-based agent mixing with organic material, and that can come from sweat, that can come from dirt, that can come from, you know, human feces or urine, and that actually makes a chloramine gas, uh, which has a pretty potent smell and can also be very irritating. Now, if you're walking up to a pool and you're smelling it from, you know, a good distance away, that may be a sign or signal to you to say, okay, maybe I shouldn't go in this pool right now. Now, if you smell it upon entering the pool, that's, you know, probably not a problem. Again, like I said, it's going to settle in that area. If you start to feel like your eyes are watering, your nose is burning, you're coughing, you're choking, you may have, you know, difficulty breathing, absolutely, by all means, get out of the pool, get fresh air, remove yourself away from the source, rinse off. She said, by all means, get out of the pool, right? Mm -hmm. take, a, take a breather. And if you're taking care of the chemicals in your own pool, here's a safety tip you may not think of. Yeah. Some pool chemicals, they're powders, yeah, right? Watch the weather. This will help you out. On a windy day, they can blow right back at you while you are putting them into the pool. You don't want them on you. Now, if you have any concerns or you think you've been exposed, you can call Poison Control, the number right there on your screen. Save it in your phone, 1-800-222-1222. Speak.